today is Police Memorial Day, a day to honor fallen police officers across the country. 17's Ileana Capian joins us from downtown Bakersfield, where Bakersfield Police just wrapped up their annual ceremony moments ago. Ileana. Alex, the Bakersfield Police Department just wrapped up their ceremony minutes ago. This event being completely different than years past, and that's due to COVID-19. So today's ceremony was much more scaled down, only taking up about 15 minutes, and then the road reopened, as you can see here. Now, I'm going to step aside so you can get a quick look at the nine officers that were honored today in the memorial. That was Officer Thomas Jefferson Packard, Frank Sparks. Aaron Alexander Trent, Floyd B.W. Cummings, William Lord Rucker, Patrick Don Vegas, William Leonard Sicola, David Joseph Nelson, and Dennis Allen Moore. Now, following this week's two officers that were killed today and this whole entire week of Police Memorial Week is just another reminder of what can happen to these officers every day as they suit up and get ready to to do their job. That's what Sergeant Pear told us here with Bakersfield Police Department. He also mentioned that emotionally, the effects of losing a coworker for them is like losing a family member because they are so tightly knit and rely on each other so heavily every day on their day-to-day -day tasks. So definitely still an emotionally driving ceremony, even though it was a little bit different than years past. But as we mentioned, it is now just after 6.30 and the ceremony has concluded. It ended around 6.15 and it started around 6 this morning. So just taking a little more than 15 minutes and now it's completely wrapped up. Now there are other events happening all throughout Bakersfield today to honor uh, the peace officers and, and to really set forward that, that message of honoring those in blue who have lost their lives in the line of duty and who are still currently serving. Here in downtown Bakersfield, Ileana Capellan, 17 News.